Hello, and welcome back to Hellblade, Sonoa's Sacrifice. Here, on the spooky month of October on my channel. Good old spooky dupe is what's going on right now. I went and picked out a few games to play during the month of October. And, uh, this was one that we picked to take over for Dot Hack. We played it just a couple days ago, got past the Surter challenge, and now we have another challenge. And I forgot the name of the deity that we're supposed to go see on this other side. But we're trying to get to the land of the dead, the Helheim. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help this girl with mental illness and get to to where she believes is the land of the dead. Sounds like fun. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And my camera does tend to, I don't know if it's losing focus when it gets kind of cloudy, but that happens. It's going to happen every recording. It just all of a sudden just, it's kind of foggy looking. All right. Did that. Now it's time. There's a lot of lag here. Is it lagging so much? Let's do another circle, maybe give it a bit. Alright, I think we're good. Now we go through the other door. Valraven, Valraven. ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Keep an eye out for any little secrets. Like that, right over there. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The Old Father. So is she not Viking? She must be part of some type of Viking. Kinda dark here. See the truth without my eyes. What's that? It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Come on. Push it. She did it. She did it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, did it, Jesus. Through it stays that way. Okay. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Pretty sure one of those just said I'm in danger. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. This is definitely going to be a fight area. Looks like a fight area. It's big enough to be one. Aha, uh -huh. see? Fight. combat mechanics were Listen to those voices in your head. different times.
simple thing in there. And now here comes the hidden object we're looking for. That, which was just... Balravan's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. standing to Not break there. the seal align the ravens with the mark of Valraven Eyeballs on these uh, trees. That one's not even in the ground. Just like floating there. find more hidden stuff too. See there's a gate there. Little illusion thing here. Where is the little story rune pillar? Maybe we'll notice it once we get the little vision thing. If there is one around here.
challenge me. Do I focus on? This is kind of trippy. It's down here. Nothing. To make it back are forever changed. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She, she can, can get up. Must be magic. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. A trick. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Gotta go back the other way. We pick 
such a fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods. It's a man, but creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. Deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat. Mean that it's not already here. Baradin, he's there. Let's find another route. Drift says there's always another route. Find a way. Go round. Find your own path. There's a different way. Oh, here comes a combat scenario. Well, let's get the fight on the way. Oh, it's a, it's a shooter. That's how we take care of those guys. We we'll slow it down and then we just unleash hell. Here we go, one of these. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers still in order. And that the world of man was formed from his corpse. 
They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? No. Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. So a lot of these icons are real. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink. And at last, he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. I wanted to finish that before I went any further. See the camera start to change and the audio started to cut. This reminds her of somewhere. The forest. Where? Which forest? The forest in the wilds. The wilds. She left the wilds. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But she it didn't work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him, too. 
she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Okay, so we open that area. But we can't quite get there just yet. Oh good, another pillar. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge, wisdom, and magic. A prayer to go back there was to a that very portal. wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own. Offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. So, since that door is open, we should be able to get in another way. Which means I gotta go back to this portal. Change the way it looks so it goes back to the wall so that way I can cross and get over. changes oh some of the things go away the ravens the ravens they've gone no half of them have gone they've gone some are still there but where no one is helping he's not helping it's true in the wilds, in the cold winter woods. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on. 
and kill that which has become a part of you. Now to get over there. thing across the walls there, that pillar. Got a shimmy across the pillar. How do we get up there? Ah, oh, stairs. she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow. The smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's life doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Or oh, nor at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? There and gone in a flat. Ooh, another fighting arena. Overcome Valravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. 
Queen Senua. Listen, I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northmen captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Anything else supposed to do over here? Oof, that flash. Maybe go across this tree. No, it doesn't look like it. There was a position around there. I was actually supposed to see the ravens. Doesn't make sense that we would knock that down and not have anything to do over there. Is there an illusion that I missed? Because we've been around and over this way just to fall down and drop that bridge for what? You think that it would be to walk across this plank? Not this plank, but that branch. In order to climb up, maybe see the ravens at a certain angle. Try. There's a way to get in there. Which doesn't look like there is. Maybe an illusion that I have to go look at.
Now maybe something has changed. Figured it would have changed something there. Can't climb these, apparently. it does is it puts that there. Is there not another illusion thing somewhere else? about getting up to the center there, I'm sure of it, to get to that nest. Must have been this gate. This takes away that. Yeah, there it goes. It opens up a path. Okay. I was just forgetting that there was one there. didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strong sun is nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. 
drowning the mind in fear. You're getting deeper, pushed. Deeper. Dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. But there, in the darkness, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. Focus. Oh, it's like a giant bird pecking at us.
this. Okay, all three of them. Stop them. Very nice. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. Defeat, Master of Illusion. We are missing one more of those rune story things, though. Hopefully it's through this door. This is where the Ameth thing was. Well, darn, I guess we missed it at some point. 
Let's see if I can backtrack a bit. Can find it. And then she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. Maybe it's here somewhere. The mountains. Caves. Still use those things. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe we just go on without getting it. Just never knowing. Because that just starts us all over again, right? Yeah, that's just going to bring us back to where we started. In this side, anyways. here somewhere but I don't think it is the only other thing I could think is that I opened two doors over here but only ever went through one of them maybe that second door had a little room thing that I could interact with so we never went through this one Nope, doesn't look like it. Bummer. It's also this. I never went across this. This there wasn't really a reason to go across this. Without it, So a face in a waterfall. Oh yeah, that one. Senua. Mother. What about the waterfall one? Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld. The underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. 
like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. That's who we saw in the waterfall, but could not interact with it on the way out. one. That's a bummer. Just a weird circle. Let me guess, another fight? Mark of Valraven and the Mark of Surt. You may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. She's done. You've done it. So dark and stark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into the hell from across. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. they came through stormy black seas they raided these shores do you still hear his screams and now that you're home he's so far away they've taken his soul These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home.
they can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. Not the love story I was hoping for. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon him to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. And this is where we're going to end it. It's uh, been over an hour. Well, we made a lot of progress. Got pretty far. Completed one other side. Now I've entered Elheim. And are ready to continue forward with the story. I'm enjoying it. I'm really intrigued by this story. Kind of like sucked into it. I want to keep playing and, and see what else keeps going with it, you know? But uh, I also don't want to make a two hour long video or however long it takes. I don't know how long this game is. With the cards that they have and Steam, it seemed like it was short. Like there was just like the cert and then the one that we just did, which I've already forgotten that guy's name. Master of Illusions. Should, should tell me right here. Paul Raven. After uh, defeating him and then going into Niflheim, or not Niflheim, to uh, Helheim, I figured that might be the end. But like with the trading cards that they have here, they have Helheim, uh, Bonfire of Cert, Path of Illusion, the Tree of Woe seems like one that we're going to be going to, and then Sienna the Beast. There's Senua, the Beast, the Gate to Hell, which is what we just went through. And Northmen, which is who we've been fighting, those little monster guys. So I'm curious to see how much longer that we have in this. There's only 14 achievements. But it does not show, like, what achievements I'm missing. That could just be a Steam thing. Steam's been doing that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it'll be a super long game, but it'll definitely be a super intriguing game. And uh, I can't wait to get further in and finish. It's going to be really cool. Looking forward to it. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Bye.